Hatch. I'm the owner of Uplands Cheese here in Dodgeville, Wisconsin. We're a dairy farm and cheese maker just north of Dodgeville. We're standing in um, our cheese cave where all our cheese ripens. We make two cheeses here on our farm, Pleasant Ridge Reserve and Rush Creek Reserve. These are named after uh, the land formations on, on which our farm sits. Uh, and Pleasant Ridge, the hard cheese that you see behind me here, is made only in the summer months when our cows are out on pasture. And it's aged for about a year before we sell it. In the fall, when the pasture stops growing and our cows start eating dry hay, and they change to a winter diet, we make a soft cheese called Rush Creek Reserve. Very different style of cheese um, to match a different style of milk. And that small soft cheese is sold only over the holidays in November and December. Well, this is an old dairy farm. There have been cows milked on this farm for 120 some years. Uh, but cheese has only been made here for the last 20 years. The original concept uh, by the dairy farmers who preceded me was to add value to their milk by turning it into cheese. They rotationally grazed their cows, that is, they, they fed them fresh pasture throughout the summer. And they realized that that gave the milk some special flavors. And so cheese was a way to capture that flavor from the pastured milk. Our style of dairy farming is known as rotational grazing. And the premise there is that our cows are rotated through different pastures, uh, in our case, at least twice a day, so that they're always eating fresh grass. And that's good for the cow in that she's getting the most nutritious grass. Uh, where she's harvesting it when it's you know, at its stage of, of peak energy. I, in my years as a cheesemaking apprentice, made cheese in different parts of the United States. And I spent a couple of years making cheese in different parts of Western Europe. And there is no place I would rather you know, own and run a cheese business than Southwest Wisconsin. Part of it is proximity to universities. Part of it is uh, the density of uh, dairy supply and repair and, and service companies. Uh, and it's, it's simply easy to, to milk cows and make cheese around here.